Hello, welcome to the video on the distance and midpoint formula. This will be a lesson on this topic and let's go ahead and get right to it. Our objectives are going to be we want to go ahead and define and apply the distance formula and then we're also going to do the same thing about the midpoint formula. Okay, so these are pretty closely related but they are um, uh, different uh, and we'll go ahead and point out the differences in the lesson. Okay, so the distance formula sounds like some sort of formula that's going to find the distance between um, two points, okay, or two places, and it's exactly what it is. Now, here's the distance formula I have here in this rectangle. It looks a little intimidating, but it's really pretty simple to use. So go ahead and take a moment and write it down. Okay, so d, the distance, equals the square root of x1 minus x2, okay, in parentheses squared, plus y1 minus y2 parentheses squared. So we'll talk about um, what these x1s and x2s are so if you're a little intimidated, just relax. It's, it's pretty easy. Okay. But the distance formula essentially states that if we have two points, okay, if we're given two points, x, y, and we want to find a distance between them, okay, we can use the distance uh, formula. Okay. And this, in fact, right here is the distance formula. So let's take a look at a graph here. And, for example, if I give you the points 3, 0, and 10, 6, and I said find the distance between the two, you could use the distance formula. But let me ask you another uh, question. If you didn't know the distance formula, how, could you, how else could you find the distance between those two points? Okay. So let me kind of give you a hint. All right, I'm forming a triangle, and I'm actually forming a right triangle. Okay. So the distance you see here is really the hypotenuse of this right triangle, correct? So if I knew this distance and this distance, I could use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this distance right here, d, okay, or actually the distance c, which would be the hypotenuse, right? So what I would do is once I had my distance a and distance b, to find c, I would add my a squared plus b squared. And then I would take the square root of that and I would find C, correct? Well, guess what? This looks very much like the distance formula. It's because the distance formula is essentially Pythag the Pythagorean theorem in action when you're given coordinates. See, look here. To find this side of the triangle, okay, our, what we need to do is measure the Y, the height of this particular triangle. So this is would be 6 minus 0, okay, because it starts from 0 and it goes all the way up to 6, okay, so that would be the height of that uh, part of the triangle, and here it starts at 3, but it goes out to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, it's, it goes out to 10, but it starts at 3, so really the distance of this leg would be 10 minus 3, okay, which would be 7. So now that I have 7 and 6, these two um, sides, I can go ahead and plug them into my Pythagorean theorem and find the distance of the hypotenuse, which is in fact the distance between these two coordinates. So I just wanted to kind of illustrate that there's a direct connection between the Pythagorean theorem and the distance formula. They're essentially the same. Okay, so let's go down here and actually apply the distance formula. So how do we apply it? And how, how does this play with this notation we talked about? It's actually pretty easy. Okay, so we're going to find the distance between this point, negative 2, 6, and this point, 4, 8. Okay, so the distance is going to be the square root of, well, we have to subtract the x coordinates in each point. Okay, now you got to pay attention. This is a, one of the x coordinates, so that could be your x1. This notation here, x1 or x2, is just indicating, hey, these are, um, pick the x values, the x coordinates in each point. Okay, so we're talking about negative 2 and 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract those two x coordinates. So it would be minus 2, minus 4, okay, parentheses, just following the formula, and then we're going to square it, plus, now we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to use the y values in each coordinate. So I'm going to subtract 6, minus 8, and then I'm going to square it, okay? So that's how you set up the distance formula. But you got to be careful 
with um, subtracting two coordinates. You'll see this in the example set. Just um, gotta be careful when you set up with negative numbers, you might uh, be subtracting a negative number, which will end up being a situation where you're actually gonna be adding. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this out. So this is gonna be the square root of negative two plus or uh, subtracted from four. So it's the same thing as negative two plus negative four. So that'd be negative six squared plus six minus eight is negative two squared. Let me just keep working this down. So uh, negative six squared is 36. Okay, negative two squared is four. So the distance between those two points is the square root of 40. Okay. Now, of course, you could take the square root of 40 and further simplify it. It all depends. Or you go into your calculator and actually get a decimal, but we can write this as the square root of 4 times the square root of 10, or 2 radical 10. So it depends on how your teacher uh, wants it. If you don't have a calculator and um, you're writing your final answer, you always want to write radical expressions uh, simplified. Okay, so I would write it this way, 2 times the square root of 10. Okay, but that's the distance formula and we're going to practice some problems in the example sets. Now let's take a look at the midpoint formula. So we have another, which may look a little complicated, um, uh, formula here with notation, but it's really very easy also. And we're going to use the midpoint formula to find the midpoint on a line segment formed by two points. So let me show you here what I mean. And by the way, you want to write this formula down. Okay, so let's say I had two points, or same points here, 3, 0, and 10, 6. And you can see between these two points, it forms a line. If I wanted to know halfway between those two points, i.e. the midpoint, what's the location, the x, y point location between those two points, I would use the midpoint formula. Okay, so the difference between the midpoint formula and the distance formula is the distance formula measures the distance between two points, okay? And the midpoint formula tells you the location, the xy location that's between those two points, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and see how the midpoint formula works. So if I wanted to find the midpoint of the line segment formed between these two points, 4, 0, 10, 6, it's very easy. The formula states the following. You're going to take the x coordinates, just as we did in the in the uh, distance formula, but we're going to add them up and average them. So here we have our x coordinates 4 and 10. So I'm going to add them up and divide by 2. Very easy. So let's go ahead and do that. So this will be 4 plus 10 divided by 2, which of course is 14 over 2 or 7. Okay, so x equals 7. That means our x part of our coordinate is 7. Okay, and now I just need to find the y part of our coordinate, and we'll have the location of the midpoint. So we're going to do the exact same thing, but this time we're going to use the y components of our coordinate. So we're going to average 0 and 6. We're going to add those two up, 0 plus 6, and we'll divide by 2, and we'll be done. So this will be 0 plus 6 over 2, or 6 divided by 2, which of course is 3. Okay, so y equals 3, so our y component is 3. So 7, 3 would be the actual midpoint location between these two points. If you had a piece of graph paper and you actually plotted these two points, 4, 0, 10, 6, drew a line between the two, and then split that line halfway, you would see that 7, 3 would be the location of that particular point. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap it up. So in review, remember the distance formula, it's actually, it looks intimidating, but it's pretty easy to use. And all it is, is a formula to find the distance between two points. Okay, but it's a very important formula in mathematics. So you don't, um, you don't want to underestimate its value. You want to practice it and, and master it. And the midpoint formula uh, finds the x, y location, the coordinate halfway between two points. Okay, so I encourage you to go take a look at the example sets and um, uh, master these concepts. All right, good luck.